Buying men's designer fragrance clones on eBay and OfferUp. Why settle for one million when you can have one trillion? <laughs> Let's smell. Welcome back to Stop and Smell. There I was searching for fragrances on eBay, on OfferUp, and I came across some comical names for fragrance clones. I never thought I would be buying these fragrances. I mean, they look so cheap. The names are cheesy. I'm sure they're bad quality. I just wanted to see how close these fragrances actually get to the designer versions. Let's find out. Most of these fragrances are anywhere between $5 up to $13. Most of these are from a fragrance house, if you could even call it that, called Euro Lux Fragrances. Never heard of them never ordered anything from them. I just know they're easily available on OfferUp and eBay. We all know what Paco Rabanne's 1 million looks like. A big gold bar, of course. So what is 1 trillion gonna look like? Well, not quite the gold bar standard here. It's a uh, see-through glass. The shape is a little similar to the 1 million, but the cap is gold and uh, you can remove it, obviously. It does remind me of the bottle for 1 million cologne. That one is also see-through and uh, the cap is removable too. Let's find out what $1 trillion smells like. The atomizer is not that great, but not too bad. I was actually expecting a huge alcohol blast, but it's not that bad actually. It does smell a little similar to 1 million, obviously, not the best quality. It's very faint already, but it does give me that one million vibe. This is probably not gonna last too long either. Okay, just to compare it, let's spray the real thing. Wow, big difference in atomizer. Obviously it's better quality, it smells richer, but if I didn't smell one million immediately after one trillion, no, I would still think it's bad quality. It seems like the one trillion scent is already dying down. That opening did remind me of one million, but now it's going away. It's starting to smell very light, barely detectable. Oh yeah, that original one million is still kicking, still there, still very detectable. It does say right on the box, one trillion pour homme is not associated with one million Paco Roban, so they're very honest. They even have a batch code and it says product dermatology tested. All right, yeah, I'm glad I didn't spray this on skin. I'll stick to spraying on the tester strips. I gotta say, after comparing one trillion to the original one million, it really makes me appreciate just how good one million smells. Of course, if you wanted a cheap alternative for one million, you can get Halloween Man. That smells really good and very close to it too. The next clone is for Armani Code, the original, which I don't have anymore, but I do have Armani Code Colonia. So that's what the bottle looks like, just black. And our clone here is, of course, Night Code. Of course, a fragrance you're gonna wear at night, taking the code word. Let's see what this smells like. Similar looking bottle, but not quite the same. The cap is a little weird, but let's see how close this one gets to Armani code. Atomizer is okay, not, not the greatest either. Okay, this one doesn't smell as good or as close as the one trillion did to one million, this one. It doesn't make me think of Armani Code. Let's spray Armani Code Colonia to refresh my memory. Huge difference in the atomizer, of course. You can tell the quality right away. Yeah, that smells good. I don't think I've smelled Armani Code Colonia and One Million in so long, it's making me reappreciate my love for these two fragrances so far. Yeah, Night Code is bad. It smells like Windex mixed with a version of Armani Code. It's, it's not good. Okay, the next clone is for Prada Luna Rosa. Only it's, <laughs> only it's called Prague Red. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, look at this bottle. It has the red line, I'll give them that. 
but not quite in the same spot. At any rate, let's find out how close this gets. Ooh, this is actually a pretty good atomizer. This is the best atomizer out of all these clones. Ooh, this one does smell the freshest out of all of them. It smells kind of nice. Fresh, crisp, not bad. Only problem, of course, is how long is this going to last? It could die down really quickly like the others. Okay, let's see what happens once we compare it to the original Prada Luna Rosa. Oh, that smells really good. Boy, I'm glad I did this. Not for the cheap clones, but it's really making me appreciate how good these fragrances actually smell. The real ones, that is. Okay, let's compare them side by side. The original Prada on the left. Crisp, fresh, clean, soapy. And uh, Prague Red on the right. Still fresh, still crisp. Not soapy, not that clean anymore. Yeah, it's not as close as I thought. The initial opening was a little closer. Now that it's drying down, not as close. Clearly just in the opening where it's similar. A few minutes into it, it goes away. Surprisingly, none of these had that huge alcohol blast that I was expecting. Yeah, it's dying down on the tester strip. It's nice though, it's not bad. It doesn't smell horrible. Okay, the last one is called Purple Label. It doesn't say anywhere in the box that it's their version of Ralph Lauren's Purple Label, but I'm assuming it's going to be. Purple, and it is 100 ml Eau de Parfum concentration. This might last the longest. It's not Eurolux fragrance like the other clones. This one is from the house of Romeo Ricci. Kind of reminds me of the Aqua de Parma bottles a little bit, but not as good. Okay, let's smell it. Ooh, this one is the strongest out of all of them. Might be an Eau de Parfum concentration like it states. It kind of smells like rose. I don't own the original Ralph Lauren Purple Label, but I have smelled it a while back. It sort of reminds me a little bit of it, but not quite. It smells more rosy for some reason. It has like a rosy, clay kind of smell. That rose smell is no longer there. It smells kind of weird, kind of like wet clay if that makes any sense. Yeah, this is uh, not the best one. It is strong, I'll give it that. Obviously this was just for fun. I just wanted to compare these cheap clones and find out how close they can get. Not taking it too seriously, but since we did have a mini fragrance haul with all of these, which one was the best? Out of all of these, which one actually got the closest to smelling like the original? I think it had to be one trillion. One trillion actually smelled like Paco Rabanne's one million in the initial spray. It didn't have a cheap alcohol blast smelled similar to it I could recognize it right away only thing is it's not gonna last on you obviously it goes without saying these fragrances are very poorly made probably but not with the best ingredients and uh, they're gonna fade really quickly but one trillion got the closest and points on the bottle too I mean they actually got close to the bottle shape Coming in second, Prague Red. It was not bad smelling. It was not as close as One Trillion was to the original. This one smelled sort of like Prada Luna Rosa. Not as soapy, but still kind of crisp and clean. And it did fade away quickly, but I was more impressed with the atomizer. That distribution, you can control it. Wow, very impressive atomizer. I mean, and I guess in last place, it was a toss up between Purple Label and Night Code. Night Code did not seem close to Armani Code Colonia that I had. It smelled weird with that Windex vibe that I spoke of. The dry down is better than the opening. It doesn't have that weird Windex smell anymore. It does smell a little closer to Armani Code Colonia, but very faint. It does have the worst atomizer i think though pretty weird so night code is not the best in the opening it has a weird windex vibe with a mixture of armani code but in the dry down that windex 
<laughs> goes away. It cleans up and uh, it dies down, but you can detect a little Armani code DNA there, but very faint. I guess that leaves purple label last. I mean, it was the strongest in the opening. It smelled like it was going to endure. Let's see what the dry down smells like. Wow, I can still smell it on the tester strip. It's still going strong, stronger than the others. It has outlasted them. I don't get that wet clay smell anymore. It actually smells a little better in the dry down, but it's not the best. Yeah, I think this one is still last. Well, there you have it. That concludes our cheap men's fragrance designer clones from Eurolux Fragrances and Romeo Ricci. Have you tried these fragrance houses? I doubt it. But if you have, let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. I'm more interested in finding out what is the best designer fragrance clone you have or you smelled. It doesn't have to be from these two fragrance houses. Hopefully it isn't. Thanks again for joining me. Until next time, enjoy your fragrances.